Hi Collective, what's up? Hope you guys are doing amazing today. If you're new to the channel, I am Earth Angel 111. Gonna hop in and give you some love messages from the person on your mind currently. So this could be someone you're dating, someone you're married to, someone you're crushing on, someone you're newly talking to, someone you used to date. As I always say though, keep in mind their love messages, okay? So some may resonate, some may not and leave the rest for someone else, okay? So I'm gonna hop in, cannot see what I'm pulling. Just like to look at you guys too, so you know it's fully random. Ooh, starting out strong. Your person plans on putting a ring on it, okay? Masculine or feminine, these are collective, so you may resonate with either or, but it says, I'm going to make you my wife slash husband. So you're dealing with someone who knows what they want and they wanna commit to you. So that is absolutely beautiful energy to start with for the day. Yesterday was 11-11 and I happened to do a special love messages 11-11 reading. That may resonate, okay? You guys may want to check that one out. Next one says, that's your fish. Okay, so this person knows. You may have known as well. Maybe when you first met this person, you just knew there was something different about them that you never felt with anyone else before, okay? That's because that's your fish. And next one, just to make it confusing, there's plenty more fish in the sea. See, this is funny because it really rebukes it. It's like there's plenty more fish in the sea, but they pick you, okay? Because this person wants to make you their wife or husband. If it would have came out that first, I would have said, okay. For some of you, I feel like maybe this is as well spirit saying like, look at all your previous relationships as there's plenty more fish in the sea that led you to your fish, right? So... Someone may like to fish, okay? That may be part of it. <laughs> but yeah, regardless of that, okay? And you could also resonate with being a Pisces since that is the sign of fish. But yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, it's almost like spirit saying all those relationships that didn't work out is what led you to this moment with meeting this person and this person's sure about you. So that's really beautiful. Definitely, it says I should have married you then. So maybe this person feels like in the past you and them had a chance to really get close or to really solidify your commitment and they chose not to, okay? This person could be like, damn. I feel like if this person could marry you sooner than they plan to, they would, okay? So maybe there's something going on between you and this person as well. Currently, there could be distance that separates you, could be another relationship, could be anything. But your person is ultimately feeling like you are theirs. Next one says, you two look good together. Okay, so this person really feels like you and them make a very good looking couple, good looking match, okay? So you may have pictures together, you may not. Regardless of how it resonates, maybe this person is just able to picture you on their arm or vice versa, maybe you're able to picture that. Or maybe someone just like photoshopped a picture together, <laughs> who knows? But yeah, some way, somehow, if you don't have a picture with this person yet, they can picture what it's like to be with you or they just think you're ridiculously good looking and you guys could have similar aesthetics okay maybe you both have this little athletic aesthetic going on for others of you you could love to have tattoos and wear like vans and nikes okay however you resonate um some of you could wear bright colors okay whatever your thing is your, your person feels like you guys make a good match and other people notice it as well okay Next one says, I'm sorry I chose someone else. It's the biggest regret in my life. So, wow, your person could have initially been in another relationship or if they had a chance between you and someone else, they could have picked someone else. And if that's the case and you were like, you know what, there's plenty more fish in the sea, your person's realizing like what regrets they have because they feel like you're the best fish in the sea. Okay, <laughs> someone may love sushi as well. This person has your back. So spirit wants you to know, regardless of what your situation looks like right now with your person and then maybe possibly being in another connection or were since you've known them, they want you to know that they have your back. Spirit wants you to know that they have your back. And ultimately, I'll even say it, this person has your back. Okay, so it's someone you can honestly trust and count on that's going to do right by you. And this is why this is your divine counterpart, y'all. This keeps coming out over the last couple of weeks. I'm telling you, okay, if you're part of this collective, I said from 111, okay, November 1st this year till about March, okay, the 3rd of March is what I'm picturing. You guys are 444 was just on the reading. Angel numbers are major significance, but you guys are coming into union with your divine counterpart. Tis the season. 
for all people, okay? And all this is a lot of the collective that's really done the inner work. You may have not dated for a while. You may have really focused on just making yourself feel good, look good, um, working towards your goals, your dreams, your visions. That was all done intentionally to bring you to this vibration in this place to meet someone who matches that level. And for a lot of you guys, your divine counterpart has been doing the same. So even if you know that they chose someone else for another, in another connection too, that's why it didn't work out with that person because they were still elevating to their best version of their self. So yeah, I feel like your person starting to become very sure more and more as each day passes that they want to build this connection with you and they're hoping you feel the same. Spirit saying, well, yeah, I mean, you probably wouldn't be watching this reading if you didn't feel the same, right? <laughs> Next one says Mexico. Okay, so you or your person could be from there. And if not, maybe you want to take a trip there together. For those of you in a relationship, okay, possibly marriage coming up, they could want to take the honeymoon there. Or for others of you, maybe you've taken a trip there together in the past. So that may be of significance for someone. Next one says karmic relationship, y'all. Either you or someone you know has relationships around them that are karmic. So a lot of you guys, this is this person's other relationship, okay? I would say you, but if you know you're single, well, this one right here says, I'm sorry, I chose someone else. So your person's starting to figure out that they're in a karmic relationship, okay? And this is a major spiritual awakening in your person's life because not only did they meet their divine counterpart, but you awoken them to the fact that if they were in another relationship, it is karmic. The ending will be karmic. The situation is karmic. And ultimately, the person brought in their life doesn't mean they're karmic, but it means that they were brought into their life to teach them a lesson and then to keep moving on. OK, so your person's learned a massive lesson when it comes to this other relationship in order to come into union with you, their true divine counterpart. Amen. Okay, two more here. It says I did something impulsive. So your person could be planning to do something impulsive or maybe they have. Could be that they bought you guys some impromptu tickets to go on a trip somewhere. For others of you, this person could just pop up in your neighborhood, your house, give you a call. Um, and for others of you, they love to hold your hand a lot, okay? So just to know if you haven't held hands with this person, they're dreaming about it a lot. Now, if they did something impulsive, maybe they've already ended this relationship with this other person. Only you're going to know if that resonates, but maybe they have some major news to tell you, okay? You are so smart, always leaving me intrigued. That could definitely be it since this card came out. They may have broken up with the other person, and when they come and tell you, just act like you don't know. Act like your girl didn't tell you, okay? Because <laughs> then they'll be like, wow, you are so smart. <laughs> but yeah, um, you could have some intuition yourselves, y'all. You could be otherwise just very connected with this person right so when they're going through it you can feel their energy okay true divine counterparts can really pick up on what the other person is thinking without saying it their energy and you don't have to be an intuitive person to feel that energy okay and that's why the, some of the relationships that like last the longest that's because they're with their divine counterpart okay so instead of like when someone says something and they know it's something else, they have this natural calm ability to like overcome situations together versus in karmic relationships, there's lots of arguments, lots of fights, lots of disagreements and lots of like lying, not doing right by each other. OK, so that's how you can tell as well. If you're wondering if you're in a karmic relationship, y'all, is there a lot of disagreements? Is there a lot of things you don't see eye to eye on? Is there a lot of times where you feel alone in the relationship more than you feel satisfied? If so, it's time to wonder if that's karmic or not, okay? Um, so next one says, you are my everything. That is so sweet. So your person feels like you truly are everything that they've been looking for in other relationships. When they found you, there was just that missing link, okay, of this giant puzzle, which is their life. And they realized that you were that missing piece that they always needed. And this is why this person is working on getting things put together in their life. Next one says, loves the sound of your voice. So whenever you're conversing with this person or they hear your voice, okay, if you're in the public, they could just see or hear you anywhere, right? So maybe they're like, oh, that's my bae. And for others of you, it's like just if you're not in the public or anything out there like that, okay, they just love when you guys talk or they get the chance to be with you. They love listening to your voice. So they just want it to be incredibly sexy, okay? So final message, wow, come through. It says, and that's so funny because it really goes with this person as your back. 
It says, please learn how to trust my intentions. So at this moment in time, Spirit's saying, if this person's with someone else, allow them to do what they need to do to come towards you because they want to marry you. 